do it together. Okay, ready? Let's clap. Today is going to be a great day. Today is Tuesday. Today, <clears throat> excuse me, today is Senior's Day at the shop. Um, Ter <clears throat> Terry came over yesterday. She took care of the shop for me so I could go to Victoria and pick up a few things. My friend that helped me get my shop finished, yeah, rock star. Um, hi, Terry. <laughs> Um, she came, she took care of the shop, did a fantastic job. She loved every minute of it. <laughs> she was so excited. It was awesome. She made herself a little lunch and she, you know, yeah, she was pretty excited about it. <clears throat> so, um, she had lots of fun and, um, sorry, <laughs> cop over there. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it was a good day for her and I couldn't be more happy. Um, Mondays aren't usually good. Sundays and Mondays are, are usually not that wonderful. But um, she has such a wonderful energy to her that I think that it just drew customers in. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, what was I saying? Uh, right, so she came and she took care of the shop for me. And when I got back from Victoria, I bought this uh, stand. I'll show it to you guys. Um, and we did a little bit of work in the shop. And I think it looks way better. I have a few more things I got to do. And, um, yeah. So, <clears throat> did I tell you guys I got the new lighting up in that hallway? Way better. I'll show that to you as well. So, yeah. So, I'm really excited. Today is going to be a great day. Today is, um, I already told you, Senior's Day. My brain is just like, <laughs> like I can't even keep track of what's going on in my brain. <clears throat> I've got so many things going on in my head right now. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay, let's chat, shall we? I know you guys are going to go, oh, here we go again, right? But <clears throat> I'm focused now. Sorry, I'm, I just had yogurt. So my throat's not working with me. Hang on. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> now I have no throat. <clears throat> anyway. Um, before, oh, before I get started on what I want to talk to you guys about, I want to do a little shout out, okay? <clears throat> Um, a 12 year old girl came into my shop last week or over the weekend and she was adorable I mean adorable but like she's an entre a budding entrepreneur and she is a yarny and <clears throat> she came in and she was oh, I can't even explain it you guys it's like she was 12 going on 20, right? Like she just, she had this confidence about her. It was fantastic. I just loved it. She, um, she makes little dog toys and she makes little dog sweaters and, um, she has her own Etsy page. Hello. She gave me her business card <laughs> and the business card has has um like stamp card it's a stamp card I was so impressed by this kid I'm telling you she's gonna go far if she keeps it up and so I wanted to give her a shout out um her name is Adrian and her business is furry tales <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a link down below to her Etsy page and I'm I'm asking from the bottom of my heart, please go support this girl. Um, go go buy a little dog toy or cat treat toy or something. Go, you know, and just support her, please, because we need to lift our young our young kids up um, in this community and help them out. Um, because she is she knows what she wants and she's gonna go for it and I'm just so pr I don't even know this girl and I am so proud of her and uh, so please go go
go check her out. She's she's awesome. Um, maybe one day if she comes in, I'll uh, I'll do a video with her if her mom says it's okay because she is a minor. Um, maybe do a video with her or something, and and uh, yeah, and then you guys can meet her. She was she was pretty impressive. <laughs> So, and of course, I didn't have the yarn that she wanted. She wanted the Red Heart um, Granny Square yarn, which I don't have in the shop yet. So, gosh, there's a lot of construction going on. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to try and get some of that in for her. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. Now. Uh, I was pulled aside by <laughs> by a by two other shop owners and they kind of it's not like they gave me what for you know they they made me really think about what I'm doing. Okay. Um, the one is very in your face and blunt to the point. The other one was Hal from uh, Clover Clothing. I'm, I'm friend, excuse me, friends with Bronwyn and Hal. So he was the softer side of things. <clears throat> and they basically asked me, you know, that they, she was saying, your shop is not the shop that you wanted, is it? And I was like, eh, no, no. She says, you've got a little bit of everything in your shop and you're trying to cater to everybody and it's not working for you. She says, what was your shop supposed to be? And I, so I told her, I said, you know, when I started my spirit raven in the market, it was supposed to be a spiritual shop, a new age shop, right? And with crystals and, um, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> that was my plan until Miles at the market got through with me. You guys, the new people probably don't know the story. But um, he's basically he he basically made made me leave right out of the market because I couldn't compete with what he was doing. Anytime I brought in crystals, anytime I brought in anything of my own that I wanted to do, he brought it in bigger, better, and cut the prices down. <laughs> okay, we've heard the story over and over again. So that's when I pivoted and brought in the yarn right so I have progressed from there then I was trying to cater to the locals with the yarn I was trying to cater to the tourists with everything else in my shop and it just wasn't working didn't matter you guys have watched me struggle with this nothing was working I was getting really depressed George was frustrated we were like, what in the heck do we have to do to make this work? So, I guess this person saw it and she said, you know, you've got this darkness around you. This dark force around you. She says, you know, you, <clears throat> you are not happy. You can see it. You are scattered, right? Two days in a row. I forgot my signs outside. I just walked out walked away totally forgot my signs and I was just like oh my god like what is wrong with me my brain has just been completely fried completely like I haven't been able to think properly so she asked me you know what do you want to do with your shop like what forget about the tourists forget about the locals what do you want your shop to be thought about it and I was like well my spirit raven is supposed to be a spiritual shop it's supposed to be a new age shop I says but the yarn is also a love of my life 
so she said, then do it. Forget about all the other crap. Stop catering to people. Make your shop the way you want it to be. Get back to who you are. And you guys, you OGs out there, you know I've been struggling and struggling and struggling with my spirituality and trying to get back to who I am. And Hal was saying, you know, she's right. You got to just forget all that. Stop. Stop trying to please everybody. Start pleasing yourself. So I went home and I thought about it and I was like, you know what? They're absolutely right. I'm, I'm chasing my tail constantly and I'm stressed out. The universe doesn't know what I'm doing, but they keep telling me, like they keep throwing things at me saying like, hello, what are you doing? You're going off track, you know, and, and then it hit me. I know what I want my shop to be. I want it to be a new age yarn shop. Uh, and I have this idea and I already talked to um, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. Oops, sorry guys. She's been dyeing some yarn for me. I want to do hand dyed yarn that is crystal specific. Say Malachite, the greens, sodalite, the blues, um, fluorite, the various colors in fluorite. You know, I'm gonna send her pictures of different gemstones that I have and get her to dye the yarn to go with it. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never seen a shop like that before. So um, I'm gonna fill my, my shop with all the, all the spiritual stuff, right? Crystals, the incense, the oils, the you know, stuff like that. Like I've got so many ideas right now <clears throat> that I just, I can't even keep up with it in my head. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this person that said, you know, you got to do this. She brought me some crystals and some tarot cards and stuff that she had in the shop that were just basically collecting dust. And she said, here you go. She said, start. I was like, I'm gonna pay you for this. She's like, no, pay it forward, start. I tell you, I could have cried. <clears throat> I did shed a few tears and Terry came over and she helped me start getting this done. Oh, wow, lots of cars today. Um, so the minute that we put those crystals in the shop, and started rearranging and moving the energy. Bam, $300 day. I just about fell off my chair. I was just like, what? <laughs> I phoned George and I started to cry. And I thought, okay, so this is, this is what it's supposed to be. That's why I'm just parking. <coughs> it's busy in town today. Yay! So, yeah, that's that's what it took. Just to break through that wall and go, okay, let's do this. And so we're doing it. I went and I bought, I'm, I bought some crystals and I bought some stuff. I'm going to do it slow. I'm going to just transition it in. Sell what I've got in the shop, but transition this stuff in. I am so excited. I am so excited. Um, I talked to a few people about it. They're excited. Um, I, I'm finally focused. I'm finally balanced. I love coming into the shop now because I know where I'm going with it. And yeah, I'm so excited. So you guys have no idea. Like this, this just, this changed everything for me. And I went and I bought a white orchid for her. And I, I gave her a card saying, thank you for bringing me back to the light. Um, because yeah, she, she really, she just kind of went, come on, go do it. 
And that's what I needed. I needed the validation. I needed not the permission. I needed the validation by someone outside of my friends and family realm to, to give me that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just totally pumped. Okay, I'm going to go, I got to pee Bailey, and then I got to get into the shop, and then I'll do some more video of what I changed and uh, show you a little bit more. Okay? Okay, bye. Okay, so I changed the front of the store. So I've got this set up here now. And my t-shirt. And then... In and I rearranged all of this. This used to have the big white um, uh, slat wall thing that's now around the corner. I put these two tables up. This is going to feature some new stuff. That, here's the shot glasses I was telling you about. I don't know if you guys can read all of these, but. And then, ooh, wait a minute. Uh, tequila made me do it. Save water, drink tequila. Take me drunk, I'm home. Um, when life gives you lemons, grab tequila and salt. I'm on a tequila diet. So far, I've lost three days. Does this vodka make me look drunk? And you bring the tequila, I'll bring the bad decisions. And then... Hakuna Mavaka. Hakuna Mavaka. <laughs> That's so hard to say. Uh, it means no memory. So those are the ones that I've made so far. And then I'm going to be bringing, making the bigger ones. I got some new uh, pins in for all of you Trekkies. I've got a, a Trekkie pin. And the... I work hard so my dog can have nice things. Oh, story of my life. Um, let's see. I put these on the back of this to kind of give it some pizzazz. Uh, I put some of them on here. Oh, and these are the wind spinners, the new wind spinners I got. Um, I'll show you the one outside when, when I'm done showing this. This is the, the three-sided grid wall that I got from Victoria last week. I think it works way better. It's on wheels. <clears throat> uh, it takes up a lot less space. Never mind my mess. Takes up a lot less space in the shop. Um, and then, and then what? Oh, this is, this is the, the cat, this shelf that was in the window. So I just swapped them out. I think it's way better. Look, I finished that, you guys. Did I show this to you? I finally finished it. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is the V-neck that I was working on. Finally done. Yay. My yarn alley. That's going to be getting dealt with at some point. And then that is what was over there. So now we've got it all set up over here. This is going to come out and I'm going to put um, bamboo sticks across so that we can hang all the macrame on that. Uh, what else? Got slippers and stuff all here. So, yeah, so that's what it looks like now. This is all going to change It's at a later date because I hate this. I don't like customers being able to see this. So I'm probably going to move this, swing it around, and put it here. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put grid wall up here and then have my desk here. Or if I'm going to put grid wall here and keep my desk where it is. I don't know yet. So, but, uh, yeah. So, hang on. Hey. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to show you the couple of tumblers that I did. Isn't that cute? Jennifer, look what I did. 
Um, so I did that last night and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. You know, I think it looks great. So I did that one and then I did this one. I'm trying to get it so that you guys don't have the glare on it, but I guess it is what it is. So. Yeah. So, the kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, so I did those two. And then I did some other ones. Some were commissions. Um, well, I guess I can show you this one. This one I did. <coughs> This one I did for one of the shop owners here. This is actually on one of my mugs. Um, so I put it on a tumbler instead for her. And yeah, that's those. Oh, I made some earrings and stuff, but those are not overly exciting but I went to Michael's and I got some of this my lunch oh and I got some of this it was on sale Karen uh, coconut cakes so I bought everything they had <laughs> So I wanted to bring it to the shop so yeah so I wanted to try this this is my glasses let me know if any of you have worked with this um, it is 78% cotton 22% polyester uh, 140 meters 148 yards 227 grams and this color is sugar teal. <clears throat> so I grabbed all of those. And then this one, the bright yellow. The balls are a little worse for wear, but this one is called lemon lime. Although I don't understand where the lime comes in because this is lemon all day long. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> And then I got this one I'm thinking I'm going to keep for myself and I'm going to make it a top for the shop so that they can see how it works up. This one is cookie cream. And then I got this one. <laughs> this ball is a travesty. I might have to rewrap re this somehow because I this <laughs> I don't know what they did to this. But, yeah, and this is fuchsia. So, yeah, this, is, this isn't going to work for me. <laughs> I just, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I, yeah, I bought out everything that they had. So, I'm excited about that. Uh, oh. And um, I'm pretty much finished my, oh, I didn't bring it with me. My granny square cardigan, I'm pretty much finished it. I'm just going to do a crab stitch on the bottom. Then I'm going to throw it in the wash. And I'm done with that. So, um, I have uh, a little thing going on with the bumblebees. Hi, bumblebees. Uh, which is what I call my um, membership people. Um, and we're doing a little thing where we are doing granny square. No, they're not granny square. Hexagon slippers. I've got one almost done. I've had, I'm so busy. I've had no time to really do them, but this is what the first one's looking like. And I'm, I'm kind of concerned because the way that it's done, um, there's a ridge that goes along. So what I did on the bottom of this or actually all the way around is um, going in the front loop on one side and going in the back loop on the other side.